Hello everyone, Wolfie here, coming at you with another one. Now in this one, we're actually going to be going over an alternative method to fixing your NAT type on your PlayStation 4. Now, I did put out a video on this previously with the recommended method, the one you should use before coming to this one if that one doesn't work. So. If you actually have not seen that video and you have not tried that method, I'd recommend going and doing that first before doing this one because this one, it can fix your NAT type, but it's not the recommended way to do it. It's more of a, if that one doesn't work, then you should do this one. So I'll have that video listed in the description of this video and I'll also have it pop up in a card somewhere. So go ahead and click on that one and go through that. And once you've gone through that, check your NAT type. And if your NAT type is still the exact same thing, then you're gonna wanna come back to this one and give this a sh try here. So let's go ahead and jump on into it here. How to fix your NAT type on PS4 part two or the other method. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is we're actually going to need to hop onto our PS4. So go ahead and turn your PS4 on and log into your account and then follow along with me. So I'm going to go ahead and press my PlayStation button on the controller and I'm going to log in. And once you log in, you're going to want to go up and all the way over to the right to your settings. So we're going to click on settings. And once we click on settings, we're going to want to go down to network. So go down to network, click on that. And once we click on that, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go down to a view connection status. And once we click on that, there are actually two things that we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for our IP address and we're also going to be looking for our default gateway so you want to make note of both of those numbers all the numbers in there for both of them you want to write it down so make sure you make note of those two different numbers there the gateway and then your ip address and we're going to use those in just a minute here for the next step all right so here we are now in our browser and you wrote down a default gateway. So now what you're going to want to do, you want to take that and enter it into your address bar. So I've entered it into my address bar, and what I'm looking at here is the menu for my modem router. But to access it, I have to enter a password. Sometimes you may have a screen like this where you'll need to enter a password, or you may not. It depends on your specific router. There are so many different companies that make them and each one can be different. Sometimes you may have the same one that I do and everything you're doing will look exactly like my screen, but there's a good chance that it won't. You should be able to still follow along though because it's roughly the same. Even though things may look different, it's still roughly the same to, to uh, follow along and what, with what it is that you actually need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. If you have a password screen as well, where it asks for your username and password, you can sometimes find that usually on the bottom of your router or the side of it or the back, there'll be a sticker somewhere. So look on your actual router for that information. And if you don't find it there, sometimes you can look it up online or there's a default password and username for your router. So just check your manual and you should find that in there somewhere. And once you've found that out, you're gonna go ahead and enter it and log in. So I'm gonna log into mine now. All right, so now that we've logged into our router and we're on the screen here, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna look around through your settings and what you're gonna wanna find is something called D as in dog, M as in Michael, and Z as in zebra. So DM 
z is what we're going to be looking for now and once you've found that we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step it may be tough to find so look around and once you found it next step so for me what i actually have to do to find my dmc is i need to click on advanced and then once i click on advanced i've got to go into my controls and then from there i'm going to be taken to this screen and over on the right here i have dmz now it may not be as hidden for you but for me it's actually pretty hidden the dmz <laughs> yeah so search for your dmc and once you found it what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on it and once we click on it you'll have something like this well for me it's there's an enable button and well i could turn it on and off using a button for you it may not be exactly like that sometimes you'll just have a slot that's open where you can enter information into so once I click on this button, I'll actually have a slot up here. So I clicked on it and you'll see I have a little thing that appeared here. For you, you may already have the slot without actually needing to click on it, but sometimes you'll have to click on a button to actually put something into that slot. So now that I have it turned on, what I'm gonna do now, that IP address that you wrote down earlier now what you're going to do is you're going to take that IP address and you're going to put it into the box here. And once you've put it into the box now, you're going to go ahead and hit apply. Now, now that you've hit apply, you can go ahead and head on back over to your PlayStation 4. Okay, so now I'm back on my PlayStation 4 and what we're going to do is an internet connection test. We're gonna test the connection. Now, you, you may wanna do this before changing this setting just to see what happens, the difference that'll happen. I'm gonna actually show you a before and after here. I'm gonna show you without the, the mode being on, the DMZ, and then I'm gonna show you afterwards with it actually being on. So let me go ahead and do a test with it off. Alright, so there's my test with it off, and you can see that it says I currently have NAT Type 2. I'm connected at 55 uh, download, and 3.1 is my upload currently. So now I'm going to turn it on, and we're going to do that connection test again. Okay, so now I have the DMZ on, and I'm going to do a test again. And now that I'm doing the test, you'll see that some of the numbers here, some of the things may be just a tad bit different than they were a minute ago. So you'll see that my connection speed actually went up just a little bit because what actually happened is now my PlayStation is connected in an unrestricted way to the internet. And that's pretty much what putting your PS4 in DMZ does, you connect your PlayStation pretty much directly to the internet by doing that. There's no restriction whatsoever. Now, when it comes to a computer, you may not want to do this because then it's possible for outsiders to, if they know what they're doing, they can actually get into your computer. So for a computer itself, you would not exactly want to do this, but for a PS4, because a PS4 is very different than a computer, I'd say it's fairly safe to do, but there are some people out there that th they think it's risky since they're, they're familiar with computers and they think it's similar, but a PS4 is very different than a computer. So I personally, even though there is a slight risk with things like that, like putting your PS4 in DMZ, I wouldn't be too worried about it. There have been plenty of people that have had their console in DMZ for like the entire life cycle of it. The PS3, some people had it for the entire time. They own one and their PS4 and they've never had any problems. So I wouldn't be too worried about anything 
if I were you. If, if you're concerned, I wouldn't be too worried. Now that right there, it should fix any issues that you were having with your NAT type. And there you go, that is the other way which you can use in order to fix your NAT type. But like I said at the beginning, remember the other way is the preferred method. And then this one is more of a, let's go ahead and try this if the other one doesn't work. So that's going to be it for this one. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it so much if you can leave a like and subscribe. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time. Bye.